a longitudinal view of the complete aortic arch may be obtained in an oblique sagittal plane. Remember from the transverse arches view that the aortic arch sweeps back from the right chest to meet the descending aorta just to the left of the fetal spine. The plane encompassing the complete aortic arch thus passes from the fetal right anteriorly to the fetal left posteriorly. It is important to distinguish the aortic arch from other structures in adjacent sagittal planes. The true aortic arch gives branches to the head and neck. The continuity of pulmonary artery, arterial duct and descending aorta, referred to as the ductal arch, does not. The true aortic arch encloses the right branch pulmonary artery within its curvature, whereas the pulmonary artery encloses the left ventricular outflow tract. Normally, blood flow into both great arteries is away from the heart. However, in pulmonary atresia, retrograde flow into the pulmonary artery from the arterial duct can be shown. Conversely, in aortic atresia, flow in the arterial duct is antegrade, but that in the aortic arch is retrograde towards the heart.